Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. And this is a reading from my OG Capricornians. So if that's you, bring your ass in here and get what you need to know and get what you need to do. Okay, let's get this started. Y'all wanna come to me in prayer as that you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm you with all this reading, send them back to where they belong. Ashay. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, Capricorn, let's get this work. Okay. Let's see what's going on. For some of you all, you have a hater at work. This could be your boss. This could be somebody that you're working with. Don't allow the people, these people that you're working with to basically deter you from a good job. You make them uncomfortable. They don't make you uncomfortable. Just do your job and make sure that you put a little money to the side for savings because if the boss is hating on you, it don't matter how much of a good worker you are, they will get rid of you. So, you get in there, you focus, you put your money to the side, you get your credentials, you get your own um, experience, and when it's good, when it's time, when time is up, time is up. Don't be mad about it, don't fret about it. Just understand there is always something else better around the corner for you. It's just a stepping stool. Okay, okay, okay. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Yeah, because I feel like concerning a job situation, you may get your heart broken when it comes to that because somebody is about to underhand you, backstab you, literally sweep it from up on your feet. And it's because you're a good worker. It's because you are somebody that is very intimidating. And these people know that they cannot compete where they cannot compare. And even though you're not competing with these people, they feel like they need to compete with you. But that's okay. Just save your money. Put your money to the side. Just understand this is not going to be a long-term job. These hoes hate you, male or female. So stack your money and be ready for something funny. For some of you all, um, you're going to have a health concern that does pop up that you may have to, you know, spend some money on. This does, I don't see anything super bad, but I do see something involving like respiratory, um, your stomach, like, uh, uh, like a stomach bug, um, food poisoning, a small cold, um, for some of you all, but it's just something, something small. It's nothing like your arm falling off or you may need shots or something. It's just something small. Something that you may be eating or that you may eat is going to send you to the hospital. You're not going to die or nothing, but it, your health is of concern. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Capricorn, you need to start being more aware of your health, okay? Do you want to be around for a long time or a short amount of time? For some of you all, you may be dealing with a water sign right now, a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. This is somebody that you has that you have feelings for. And you, you know, I feel like you kind of adore this person, but I feel like you're gonna end up leaving them on. You are. You are. I feel like you may feel like this person's too damn soft. Too soft. Too soft. And at times, that could be a little bit too much to deal with. But this is somebody that you're currently dating. Also, you got somebody from your past that you once dated, that you was once in a relationship with long-term or even short-term. This person is going to be trying to make their way back to you because they're still obsessed with you. They still have love for you. This person is trying to manifest you back. But you, I see you trying to keep your distance from this person. This is somebody who does want to have a family with you, does want to have kids with you. Um, this person may also already have kids, and that's probably the reason why you decide to leave them alone. But a lot of you all are going to stand on business and say no to this person. Why? Because this person from your past who is stalking you, stalking that ass, their, se their sexuality is questionable. This person be fucking the same sex and the opposite sex. Can't trust this person. Okay? So, I would advise you to keep your distance, but I already know that. Most of you all already know that. You already know that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to this water sign, I don't know. They they walking on a real, real tight rope. Walking on a real tight rope. 
Mm. Give me a hit at you. For some of you, my tooth just started hurting out of nowhere. It's kind of like a nerve pain. Um, somebody may have to go to the dentist soon or get something extracted. I even see somebody getting some type of veneers or something like that as well. <clears throat> Give me a hidden truth for Capricorn. Give me a hidden truth for Capricorn. Give me a hidden truth for Capricorn. Capricorn, this person from the past knows exactly what they were doing. That means that this person was a player back in the day. Still are. Still are. This person is a player who's sexuality is questionable and they're not out they're not out the closet they're not even you know standing on being bisexual because this is somebody who's bisexual i don't see them being gay i don't see them being straight on full-on lesbian i see bisexuality and this person does not let nobody know that when they're with a guy the guy thinks that they're just with guys when they're with girls the girls just think that they're girls like they're just living a double life this is somebody who hides behind material things so they probably have a nice job or a nice car nice place nice clothes nice jewelry this person you know portrays himself in a manner where people don't kind of like clock their tea when really it's a lot of cle it's a lot of tea to be clocked about this person okay this person does watch you and to spy on you because the reason why they spy on you and watch you so heavily is because they want to see if you're happy without them they want to see what you're doing without them. They want to see how you're looking without them. They want to see if there's any ounce of unhappiness so they can swoop in. They want to know if you miss them. They want to see if you post something that may feel like it's about them so they can swoop on in. But like I said, this person knew what they were doing. So how could you even try to give somebody another chance who knew that they were being low down the whole time? This is somebody who don't feel bad about their actions. It's because they're living a lie anyway, so they don't they don't feel like they have to answer to their actions. Mm -mm. Give me some current love messages for Capricorn. Give me some current love messages for Capricorn. Give me some current love messages for Capricorn. Current love messages for Capricorn. Capricorn, I feel like if you're dealing with a water sign right now, even if they're not a water sign, it's somebody who's very emotional. It can be very, very much at times. Confirmation doesn't have to be a water sign. This could just be somebody who just gets on your nerves sometimes. Like, it's just, they, they really do fuck with your emotions. And they're emotional as well. But anyway, I feel like you're going to end up leaving. But meanwhile, if you if you do choose to stay with this water sign, I feel like you're going to still see red flags about this person. It's going it's, it's going to be the things like example. Say if you 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 just not feeling it today. Capricorn, you wake up in a mood and you would just like somebody to run you a shower. You tell this person can you go run me a shower? Huh? 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 Oh, I'm aggravating you. Oh, that's too much for you to do? I'm done with you. It's just, it's just little shit like that. Little shit like that. Ooh. Mm. It's giving this person really childish. They were probably spoiled as a kid, probably the youngest, but that shit aggravating me. And I will lead to, I will lead to. But anyway, this person that's coming back from the past, this person who's bisexual, okay? This person deceptive. They probably already got kids with other people. They're still childish themselves and you'd be better off not even dealing with them. This past person is selfish, one-sided, only in it for themselves, only in it for a, a good time, not a long time. So when they come back in, hoping that you get them another chance, don't do it. Plus, this person may come off as they got their shit together when it comes to finances, but they don't. They're spending more money than they can keep. Like I said, they date multiple people. Of course, they're not. Of course, their money is going to be funny. They got too much money going out instead of going in. And they're a player. 
So when this person come around trying to express their love and try to flirt up, flirt, flirt at you and try to get you to trust them again, know that it's time to release. Know that you're doing the best. You do. You're making the best decision to let that person completely go. Because even if you get this person another chance and you fall for that okie doke, it's gonna end. It's gonna end anyway. It's just lust, attraction. That's all that's there. There is no love there, baby. And if you knew better, you wouldn't go back to this person. A person who doesn't love themselves or care about nobody else is somebody who will give you something and not give a damn to even warn you that they have something. This is somebody, honestly, very, very selfish. Very selfish. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love for my Capricorns. Yeah, for my Capricorn singles, just know that, like I said, you got somebody from the past who was bisexual trying to come back. They want to reconcile with you. There's a lot of lust still there for you. And for some of you all, this person does want to marry you, but it's only just to control you. So that you can go off and make other connections with other people. <laughs> they just want to keep you as a prisoner. Why they do they fucking thing, baby? I ain't never seen so much selfishness in one read. It's just selfishness. These people want to take from you. The, the word sign taking all of your damn energy energy vampire and you feel depleted with this person this person that's trying to come back they want to do the same thing the same thing drain you from it drain you for your energy and your sexual energy leaving you depleted drained exhausted frustrated over it mm-hmm Cause this person from the past, oh yeah, they, they coming for your ass. Oh, they coming for you. They're coming for you, baby. Know that. <laughs> but this person that's coming for you is a homosexual. Mm. 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 You're welcome. So, so much so, y'all... I don't expose this person to you. My lip ring done came off and that motherfucker was on tight. It's telling me to stop running my mouth. They telling me shut the fuck up. But guess what? I still got more to tell you. <laughs> Homosexual. Homosexual. What's Capricorn money going to look like? Mm -mm. I just find it so funny when energies literally jump into the reading and try to get me to shut up. Because that's when I know I'm I'm doing a damn thing. I'm snitching. I'm hitting it right on the head. I'm hitting the hammer right on the nail. Yeah. Okay. What is Capricorn money going to be looking like? Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages. Okay. Just know that you are on the right track. So if you needed some encouragement, you're doing a damn thing, Capricorn. Also know that you're going to need to take a fresh fresh start as well as a, a risk when it comes to your love life as well as a risk when it comes to your career life. Don't be afraid to make decisions based on what is best for you, Capricorn. Nobody else, you. Also know that you are about to go through a, a rebirth, a transformation, a hope, I mean a fresh, a fresh new start, growth and inner peace. Like I said, a fresh start. And for some of you all, y'all may end up getting a tattoo pretty soon and it may be a butterfly. Or something that's like that um identifies being free, feeling free, a new start. And like I said, we got change, transformation. That means some things are about to change in your love life, your work life, your everyday life. So be prepared for it, Capricorn. Be prepared. And give me a takeaway message. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. You need a takeaway message? Yeah, it's time to break a cycle. You, you need to know how much you inspire people, Capricorn. 
It's time that you stand on it. It's time that you start inspiring your own damn self. Push. It's in you. It's in you, boo. And take today and just relax. Even if it is when you get off of work. Go get you something nice to eat. Take your ass home. Plug you up a movie. And just relax. Just relax. Get your goodies if you need to get you some goodies. But anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading. And I hope that you are ready for this rebirth. But anyway, because this rebirth is going to come with a whole bunch of traps that you're going to have to overcome. But when you do overcome them, just know that you got blessings on the other side and a whole new you. A whole new life. But anyway, thank you all for the love and support and the donations that you all do see. And I appreciate every last one of you. If you want to find me on social media or give me on a phone call for a personal reading, everything's in my description box below. And I'll see y'all lovely, lovely Capricorns on the next one. Bye.